So we're solving multi-step equations. Um, again, we're going to keep it organized, separate both sides. So the first thing we're going to do in number one is I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to combine y with 4y. And remember, I can only combine what's on the same side. So here I have an invisible 1. 1 plus 4 is 5y. And everything else that I didn't use, I just bring them down. And then we're gonna start solving like a two-step equation. So the goal is to have y by itself, so I need to add seven to both sides. Add seven, bring five y down, 13 plus seven, 20 right there. Now everybody knows we have an invisible multiplication sign right there. So we do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we divide both sides by five y equals 4. Not bad. Now with number 2, we're going to have one extra step because we have to distribute the 3. And when we distribute, we're multiplying. So there's a little times sign right there. So 3 times a, 3a, minus 3 times 5, 15 plus 19 equals negative 2. Now we're combining whatever is on the same side. So negative 15 and 19. So you can type this in, or 19 take away 15 is 4. And then bring everything else down. Now it doesn't look that bad. We're solving for a we need to get rid of four. So minus four. These two go, or equal zero. Bring three a down. Negative two minus four is negative six. Invisible multiplication right there. That means we have to divide both sides by three. They go bye-bye. A is negative two. Not bad. Number three, separate both sides. Now be careful here, we're distributing a negative number. So when we distribute the negative three, that means we're multiplying those two terms by negative three. Negative nine, we're not doing anything with it, so you just bring that down. So multiply by negative 3, that is negative 6r, that is plus 3. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. So first step, we distribute negative 3. Now, we're going to combine like terms right here. So combine negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. Everything else, just bring them down. Now we add 6. Bring everything else down. Negative 18 plus 6 is negative 12. Now we divide by negative 6. Don't forget because we have that multiplication sign right there and we're doing the opposite of multiplication which is division. This sign right here, we don't change it. We're just doing the inverse of multiplication which is division. Positive 2. We have two more. Separate both sides. Now be careful that we're distributing that negative sign or distributing the negative one. Remember when we distribute, we multiply. And everything else that we're not dealing with, we're just 
bring them down. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. And then you bring everything else down. Combine. So here we distribute negative 1. Here we combine. One minus one plus two is two x. Negative three plus five is positive two. Now we subtract or we minus two from both sides. Bring two x down. Now we divide by 2. That will give us negative 1. Last one. So we're going to distribute this, the 5, we're going to wait for the 2, and we're going to distribute the negative 3 on the same step. So 5g minus 35 plus 2. Now we're going to distribute the negative 3. So negative 3g plus 15. We could have just used parentheses right here instead of the brackets. So I'm going to combine what's in parentheses right here just to save me some time right there before I distribute 2. So bring everything else down. 1 take away 3 is negative 2g. Now I'm ready to distribute this 2 right here on the outside. I'm still not dealing with 5g minus 35. That's why I keep bringing them down. Minus 4g plus 30. So I multiply 2 times negative 2 to get negative 4. And I multiply 2 times 15 to get 30. Now I'm going to combine, so I have 5g, I can combine with 4g, and I have negative 35, I can combine with 30. 5 take away 4 is 1g, negative 35 plus 30 is negative 5. It's looking better. Now I add 5, g equals 5. All done.